Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to do a really quick video. Um, we're just going to talk about signposts. In our first Pori script video, we created a signpost outside in Little Root Town for this, um, you know, for the Professor Birch's new laboratory that just said hello world. Um, we created it here. Um, but I didn't actually talk about the signpost object, so I figured I might as well um, talk about signs in a short short video. So the sign is one of the event object types that we can add into our world and the main difference between a signpost and you know a event object is that it can't walk around, it can't be given a trainer type, it isn't it doesn't have a graphic and that's you know one of the conveniences. So it's basically we can use it, we can put it, you know, on a coffee table, we could put it in this plan if we wanted to, we can put it on on all of these things and you know if you wanted to say if you wanted to have books that you could read and have text inside of books like you wanted to be able to read one of these books, you could put a sign here and you could add that script there. Now obviously it's different than, than an event object. An event object has a graphic and you can call a script whenever you click on the event object whenever you press the A button on it. And the same thing is true for the sign, but the sign is more flexible in certain ways because you can put it wherever. It can't move around um, like an event object can. Um, it can't be turned into a trainer, um, it can't be added into a Pokeball, but you can run whatever scripts you want from these signposts. They're just stationary scripts that they're different than the triggers where you have to walk onto a trigger, but instead you can click them and you can change, you know, the direction that you can click on them from if you want to only be able to click on it from the south or from any of the directions, it doesn't matter, but that is signposts. Not complicated at all. Um, we wrote a very simple script for these signposts here. They use the same one. It says don't touch that. Lock all says don't touch that. It applies this movement, which just makes us walk left twice. Because like I said, you can put more than just text in the signposts. It waits for the movement and then it releases. So this, both of them are the same. It'll just make you walk left twice. So it'll put you here if you click on this one and it'll put you here if you click on this one. Um, and you know, that's, that's what signposts are. So here we have the game up. If we click on our signpost, it says do not touch that. Why is this one not working? Player facing south. Oh, I'm not facing south. That's why. <laughs> I'm facing north. I'm coming from the south. Um, so, you know, be wary of the direction. I think I had the same exact problem when we put our first sign up in Little Root Town. Um, but yeah, so that is signpost and I'm going to end the video because again, I only wanted this one to be three minutes anyway. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. This is a very simple topic. I almost didn't want to didn't want to give it its own video because we already talked about signpost, but I figured I might as well. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment here or in the discord. Otherwise we will see you on the next one.